Randy Pike here from Team Tegan. I'm going to show you how to adjust the drag brake feature on the RX-8, which is the first onboard adjustment on the RX-8 Gen 3. Let's get started. All you need to do is hit the mode button one time. That shows the DB is flashing. Hit the increment button one time. That first time, it's going to show you the current setting. If I want to adjust it and make it more, I just hit that increment button. And as you can see, the LED starts walking up the tree. I want about 35% drag brake. Once I'm done, I'm going to let it reboot. And that's it. You just adjusted your drag brake. I'm going to show you to adjust the second adjustment on the onboard system on RX-8 Gen 3, which is brake strength. Hit the mode button twice. You see the LED lines up with BS, which is brake strength. Hit the increment button one time. That shows you the current brake strength setting. If you want to make that adjustment, just simply climb the LEDs by hitting the increment button repeatedly. Once you get the setting that you want, go ahead and just let the speed controller reboot. And you just adjusted your brake strength. I'm going to show you how to adjust the third setting on the RX-8 Gen 3 onboard button settings, which is limiter. Simply hit the mode button three times and get it on the third LED, which is limiter. Hit the increment one time. That shows you the current setting. And if I want to make a change, I'm going to simply hit the increment button until I get the setting I want. Once I do, I'm going to let the speed controller reboot. And I just adjusted my torque control. We're going to do the fourth adjustment on the onboard settings of the RX-8 Gen 3, which is neutral width. Simply hit the mode button four times. That's going to move it over to LED 4, which is NW or neutral width. Hit the increment button one time. Right now you can see two LEDs lit. I want to get it down to one, so I'm going to simply hit the increment button down until I get one LED lit. That's where I want it, 5%. I'm going to let it reboot. And we just adjusted neutral width. We're going to go to the fifth adjustment on the RX-8 Gen 3, which is timing profiles. I'll show you how to adjust that right now. So radio on car on, simply hit the mode button five times. That's going to move the LED to LED five, which is timing profile. Hit the increment button one time. That shows you the current profile selected. If I want to make that adjustment, hit the increment button over to show you the profile that you want. Once you're done, let the speed controller reboot. And you just adjusted your timing profile. We're going to go to the sixth adjustment on the RX-8 onboard settings, which is motor type. I'll show you how to do that. Car on, radio on, simply hit the mode button six times. To put this on LED 6, which is motor type, hit the increment button once, that'll show you the current setting. I don't want any reverse on my car, so I'm gonna hit the increment button until I get LED 1 lit. Once I'm done, I'm gonna simply stop and let the speed controller reboot. And that's how you adjust your motor type. We're gonna show you to do the last and final adjustment on the RX-8 onboard setting, which is voltage cutoff. Let me show you how to do that. Car on, radio on, simply hit the mode button until you get over to LED 7 which is for voltage cutoff, VC on the label. Hit the increment button one time. As you can see, it's LEDs two lit, which is for two cell, but I want four cell, so I'm gonna hit the increment button two more times. Four LEDs lit. I'm gonna let the speed controller reboot. And that's how easy it is to adjust voltage cutoff. As you can see, using the onboard adjustments on a T can brush the speed controller are super easy, super easy to do. No peripherals needed, no computer, no laptop, no phone, no external programming box. You can do them on the fly in seconds on almost every Tekken brushless speed controller that we have.